All right, this is cabin 17224. It's a category 8P balcony in the spa area on Carnival Jubilee that is fully accessible with a big asterisk I am about to show you. Here is the bathroom area, a nice large bathroom as you would expect for a, an accessible cabin. Apologies for the towels on the floor. Uh, I do these videos when I get on the ship and they hadn't quite finished cleaning yet, so I was trying to get in and out. Um, there is your seat for the shower and there's your emergency cord, obviously necessary in these cabins. And your toilet with yet another emergency cord. And your towel racks, so plenty of towel racks and plenty of space in there. And uh, all your regular buttons and stuff you would need. Um, these little ottomans are quite unique because there's storage, extra storage area in there. So uh, you can put some extra stuff in there. I wonder how many people go through the whole cruise and not realize that. But yes, there's one storage cupboard there. One thing, or well, two things about this room, you're about to see the main one. Uh, not a huge amount of storage space. Um, every bed area, there's your emergency cord there, but there's also a nightlight with a USB port underneath it. Here's the elephant in the room, that pillar. So uh, I'm not quite sure how they can call this a fully accessible room with that massive pillar in the middle, but uh, just be aware it's there. Um, they were obviously part of a group because these are the sort of gifts you get when you're part of a group, those tote bags. Some extra storage space here. There's your hairdryer. One more drawer there, and there was another one right above it. There's your fridge. And then another ottoman. Uh, I haven't seen two in a room before, but more storage space there. But the cupboards themselves are pretty minimal. Power outlets, you've got four USB and three regular US power outlets. No Europeans on this ship. And then you've got one more nightlight there with a USB port. And there's shelves in the middle. Uh, there's your emergency cord that you can put your phone on overnight, glasses, whatever. And then here is the other storage area. So you've got three basic cupboards here um, for storage. There's your safe. So yeah, so be aware of this room, most of the rooms have four storage areas. They'll call it two on the description, but because it's they say, you know, one half. Um, with the outside patio, you just hit that button for the door to open automatically for you. And then you can go outside and here's the balcony. Uh, I'm going to show you in a minute how that rises up to flatten for you if you have a wheelchair to get out onto the patio. But there's your balcony, decent size. Looking out over Galveston. So when you hit this button to close the door, you'll see that flap's going to come up. And then the door will close. When you open it, the door will open and the flap will go down. And now it's going to lock itself. You can do this manually as well, but you just hit that button. It's going to do it for you. So that's where it is the front of deck 17 and then there's your information about what's in the cabin so it's 205 square feet in the cabin 44 square feet balcony for a total of 249 square feet um, you've got one king bed it says it does not convert to two twin beds but as you clearly saw there it does so I would take that with a pinch of salt and then there's all your other information you notice it's kind of interesting it doesn't warn you about the pillar but uh, that pillar is definitely an issue. But the balcony does open to the cabins either side. If you have people staying in them, you can share your balcony. And again, it is a fully accessible cabin with the big caveat of that big pillar. Any questions? Email me anytime. CruisingSuitGuy at gmail.com. I promise I'll reply as soon as possible. Want to book a cruise or any type of travel? We are travel agents. Check out our site. EliteTravelConnection.com or email me, Mick at EliteTravelConnection.com. We are here for you. Finally, subscribe, please, pretty please. You know you want to. Go on. I won't beg you. Okay, I'm begging. Please. Subscribe! Thank you.